Cardano just flashed a critical buy signal. Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, we are going to be answering the question, is Cardano about to rally above a dollar and go back into a major uptrend, and does it deserve to go into a major uptrend based on its fundamentals? Not only are we going to be looking at the price action and the technical analysis of Cardano, we're also going to be looking at some fundamentals, like how many new projects are on Cardano, over 400 as of late, and how there's over 100,000 new wallets in this cryptocurrency in just the last month. We've seen institutional demand jump by 50x recently, and we're going to be talking about how all those fundamentals are eventually going to get priced into the Cardano price and why I think Cardano is undervalued right now. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, but without much further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. We start off with a 30,000 foot perspective on ADA. As you know, Cardano hit all time high on September the 2nd, 2021 at about $3.13. Ever since then, Cardano pulled back 75% over the course of almost 200 days to 75 cents as a low. But something you probably noticed is that we seem to be forming this head and shoulders pattern on the daily chart for Cardano. Now, it is a little bit slanted. We do have a downtrend for the shoulder line, but this is more or less an inverse head and shoulders pattern. The other thing you'll probably notice is that the downwards momentum momentum that we saw in between the beginning of November and the beginning of March has more or less stopped and now we're seeing sideways momentum. What this means is that in the long run Cardano is starting to form this kind of bowl. It is starting to move to the upside even if ever so slightly. Technically we're in an uptrend right now because we have a high on the 1st of March at a dollar and then another high here on the 4th of April here at a dollar and 26 cents and we also have higher lows right here. But zooming in we also have a couple more very important indicators. Let's go ahead and take a look at Lux Algo because it's flashing a critical signal down here on the 4th hourly chart. Remember, what shows up on the hourly chart will build into what shows up on the four hourly chart. What shows up on the four hourly chart will build into what shows up on the daily chart and so on and so forth. What we're seeing right now is that there is a strong buy signal showing up on the four hourly chart for Cardano. It is confirmed by the trend catcher right here and it's also confirmed by Lux Oscillator which is green down here which tells us that Cardano right now is attempting to start an uptrend. Let's look at the last couple of times that we've seen confirmed strong buy signals on the Dano. We see one that was confirmed right here not a very good example, but technically speaking, if you zoom in here using the beginning of the candlesticks as we're supposed to, if we zoom in here, this was not the best signal in the world. Lux Algo is not a perfect indicator, but if we look at a, pr a few previous technical indicators, a couple of the last confirmed buy signals, then what we're going to see is that they generally have the right idea. This confirmed buy signal did lead to an uptrend. This confirmed buy signal didn't quite lead to an uptrend. It was a little bit ahead of its time, but it did eventually lead to an uptrend. And then this confirmed buy signal did see Cardano rally 53% in 12 days. Now, am I saying we're going to rally 53% in 12 days? No, that's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that we have a confirmed Cardano buy signal here, and that's something we should take very seriously because Lux Algo is a very powerful trend analyzing tool. You might be wondering why I'm not using these two buy and sell signals. This sell signal was never confirmed because Trend Catcher never turned red, which means that this buy signal is actually the exact same as this buy signal, meaning that it's null and void. That's why I'm not paying attention to it in case you were wondering. Now, what happens from here? Well, we need to look at some of the very important technical indicators and oscillators to get an idea for that. One of the first things to show you on Cardano is the fact that we have a downtrend of lower lows showing up on the chart, whereas we have higher lows showing up on the MACD and higher lows showing up on the RSI. That is what is known as bullish RSI divergence, and that tells us that the market is going to move to the upside. Bullish RSI divergence is very rarely ignored by the market, and it probably will lead to Cardano rallying all the way back up to a dollar, which as we know is critical resistance. If Cardano is able to break through a dollar, then hopefully we would see a strong Lux Algo buy signal showing up on the eight hourly chart, which is actually a far more accurate example of Lux Algo being played out. This is why it's important to do historical analysis. If we look at the last two buy signals on Lux Algo on the eight hour chart, they were actually very powerful. This one led to a 7% rally, and this one, as we can see, is confirmed right here, led to a 32% rally. So we get better signals on the eight hour chart when we zoom out. Sometimes it's not your indicator is not working, sometimes you're just looking at the wrong time frame and doing historical analysis will tell you what the right time frame is. In this case, looking at Lux Algo, the eight hour chart seems to be much better. However, we don't have a buy signal on the eight hour chart yet, meaning that we should still probably hold off a little bit and wait until we get too bullish. I would say if you see Cardano jumping above a dollar, then you're probably going to see a strong buy signal on the eight hourly chart for Cardano over US dollars. That will be wonderful. And then if that grows into a daily chart buy signal, that's going to be great as well because Lux Algo on the daily chart for Cardano has been nearly perfect for a year. If we look at the sell signal here, this 
led us all the way to this buy signal down here because we're going to disregard these. I'm going to explain why in a second. We can see that that was a 70% drop this sell signal called. That's a very powerful signal. Now, this strong buy signal was invalid because we never saw a green trend catcher, which makes the, the following sell signal invalid because it's just a continuation of this one. These two signals down here, we would have invalidated on the daily chart because we didn't see other confirming indicators and because we only barely saw the trend catcher turn green, if at all, meaning that we shouldn't have been too concerned about it. This strong buy signal, if we had said, hey, give me three to five days to confirm it, then we would have been very happy with that signal. So that did not happen, which means I would not really have put too much stock in these two buy signals. So basically, Lux Algo has done very, very well. In this case, this buy signal was something we put stock in, and we did end up seeing the market move about 5% to the upside from when we could have confirmed it, or here from when it was actually technically confirmed, up 20%. We want to see a buy signal on the daily chart, and I think we will, if we get above a dollar and about 15 cents. If we get above about a dollar and 15 cents, maybe a dollar and 20 cents, we'll probably see a confirmed buy signal and that would lead us up hopefully above a dollar and 25. If we see Cardano to start pushing above a dollar 25 up to a dollar 35, then we will probably be off to the races and we will start to see the price target on the inverse head and shoulders pattern which I have drawn here predicting a dollar and 95 cents start to play out. But let's go ahead and take a look at some fundamentals. Over on Cointelegraph, 400 new projects and 100,000 new wallets in a month on Cardano. People say nobody's building on Cardano a lot of people are building on Cardano. Not only are a lot of people building on Cardano, a lot of people are adopting Cardano. You got to realize you couldn't build on Cardano 6, 12 months ago, at least not in its full capacity, because the Plutus backend wasn't completed and the smart contract functionality was still being built. It was being built correctly so that they wouldn't have to roll back the chain and do some things that other projects have done because they want to build it correctly. That's why it took the time that it did. But it's here now and people are building on it. The number of ADA wallets has increased by 100,000 since March 22nd, with the total figure standing at 3.2 268 million as of April 19th. So over 100,000 in less than 30 days. Activity on the Cardano blockchain is starting to heat up with over 400 new projects being built. According to a Tuesday Twitter post from Cardano creators IOHK, there are nearly 900 projects in development on the network. The figure has grown by roughly 400 since March 11th. So what we're seeing is in just over 30 days, we've seen nearly a doubling of development going on on Cardano. That is absolutely meteoric growth. And that would explain why the total value locked on Cardano rallied from about 87 million, where it really started when I believe it was Sunday Swap jumped over onto the Cardano chain, all the way to where it sits right now at 227 million. People point out, yes, but it's down from 320 million. Yeah, but it's up. 250% in the last three months. That is huge, and you don't find that on many of these other chains. The project list here is growing, and many of these other projects are starting to get a lot of traction. Ring Wing Riders, for example, had very little TVL the last we checked. It's now sitting at 61 million. ADAX is going to start coming online in a big way soon. It doesn't show up in total value lock because they're changing the way they do their exchange, so it's never going to have a huge TVL number. But make no mistake, ADAX is a huge project being built on Cardano as well. One final thing to note from this article, zooming out, transactions larger than 100,000 have increased by 50x since the start of 2022, suggesting that a strong institutional demand may already be there. We've talked about this before. I firmly believe that you're going to see institutions, big and small, start moving onto the Cardano blockchain because institutions don't think on the order of days, weeks, and months. They think on the order, not even of years normally, but of decades and on into a century. And if they look at Ethereum and they look at Cardano and they say, one of them simply has better technology and it's growing faster. Even though it's smaller right now, I probably want to bet on that one because that horse is probably going to pull ahead in the next 50 years. Even though it started later, it's moving faster and it's probably going to catch up. So we have a lot of institutions moving into Cardano and a lot of transactions over $100,000 are starting to transact on that blockchain. Now, let's also talk a little bit about the Vasil hard fork coming up. I'm not going to dive into this too much. We actually made a video talking about this, but I do just want to run through a couple of the CIPs or Cardano improvement proposals. CIP 31, for example, allows dApps to access transactional output without spending or recreating them, and that tackles the challenge of one transaction per block, a feature that heavily received criticism from dApp users. CIP 32 works on further decentralization. CIP 33 works on increased throughput. CIP 40 is an upgrade that would protect users from losing Cardano held 
held as a collateral. There is a massive amount of development going on here. I would encourage you to go back and watch our video where we talked about the Cardano development and roadmap just a couple of weeks ago. The point is very clear. Cardano's fundamentals are growing and their on-chain metrics are growing at a meteoric rate, the likes of which we're not really seeing in a lot of other places in the cryptocurrency space. It's a reason why I'm heavily invested in Cardano. But, you know, hands up, I'm actually still more invested by quite a bit in Ethereum than I am in Cardano. That's because Ethereum right now is the proven smart contract platform. I believe in Cardano, but I do want to see it prove itself more. I would like to see it not have 900 projects. I'd like to see it have 9,000 projects. I would like to see it not have 50x the demand of people transacting over 100,000. I'd like to see it be 5,000x what it was at the start of 2022. I'd like to see there be 20 million wallets, not just 3 million, but all of those things will come with time. It takes patience. This thing is going to grow. It's built on a firm foundation. Not that Ethereum wasn't. But the technology that Cardano has now was not discovered when Ethereum was created. There's a reason why every single time Windows needs an upgrade, they don't just keep updating Windows Vista. They come out with a new one and start from scratch using the lessons that have been learned in the past. That, in my opinion, is what Cardano is doing. It's using the lessons learned from Ethereum, the founder of the decentralized application space, the founder of the smart contracts ecosystem, and they're using those lessons to build a platform that has a firmer foundation because it was built with the knowledge of how it was supposed to be built instead of trying to figure out how to build the foundation after you're already working on the roof, which unfortunately is the position Ethereum finds itself in right now. So what's my take? I personally think that Cardano is going to $20 to $30 by the end of the decade. I think you're going to see a $1 trillion market capitalization. I think that that, to be honest with you, is a conservative estimate. Where is it going in the next two weeks? To be honest with you, Cardano is heavily correlated right now to Bitcoin. If Bitcoin goes down, Cardano will probably go down. If Bitcoin goes up, Cardano will probably go up. I do think there's a strong case to be made technically that it's about to go into an uptrend. But at the moment, Cardano is, to a certain extent, under the thumb of Bitcoin. Ethereum seems to be able to start moving without Bitcoin. Bitcoin, that's a very new thing. That's only been uh, possible and really something that happened in the last year or so. But the other altcoins down the list have not really gotten to that point. They typically move in a very similar direction to Bitcoin. We're going to see what happens. My opinion is that Cardano is a very strong investment right now. I can't tell you exactly what the trading landscape looks like because over the last four, five, six days, it's been trading sideways. But if it starts a trend and confirms a trend to the upside, I don't think it's a bad call to go long on Cardano. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's video and you want more updates on where Cardano is and where Cardano is going, you found the channel for it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and tune into Coffee and Crypto Live at 10 a.m. Eastern every single weekday where we bring you the latest technical on-chain and fundamental analysis of Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency markets. Make sure to follow us on all of our social media at CryptoJeb over on Instagram and Twitter and at CryptoJeb Official over on TikTok. We're posting to all of those daily. Make sure to stay tuned for Club DeFi because anything and everything you want to learn about crypto, we're bringing it to you. We have a ton of technical analysis content. Trading courses are being edited right now. We're going to have content on mining and yield farming and all kinds of things coming to Club DeFi. It will be doing a full launch in the next few months. We don't know the date yet, but once we do, you will know and we are very excited to bring it to you. We've been working on it for over a year and a half. We cannot wait to revolutionize the education space here in cryptocurrency. Anyway, guys, before I go, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching, as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Holy cow, you're at the end of the video. You're one of the good ones. I give you a thumbs up. If you want to give us a thumbs up, make sure uh, you do that. And if you're not subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, if you really want extra bonus points, you can comment what you think down below. That's all we got. See you next time.